What is going on, my people? You know who it is. And if you don't, you're about to find out. I got some newish. Be right back. What is going on? You know who it is. The one, the only, never duplicated. Solano of Peru. Thank you guys so much for joining me. To my new subscribers, welcome to the S to the O fam, where together we are going to learn about new fragrances and a lot of other new things and have fun and just learn overall about fragrances. So today I have a new, new one. It's going to make you say, ooh, or it's going to make the other partner say, ooh, whatever you're into. I don't care, you know, just as long as you watch the videos and hit that like button. And let's go. Today I have Inicio. Atomic Rose, that new, I knew I was going to review it, but let me tell you on to the story, if things like that, is it worth it? I'm going to tell you right now, and I have it, here's the box, the little sleeve that goes on top of it, things right here, stuff like that, next, here's the box, here's the box, right here, the Inicio and Simlum, the little badge code, information about the product pause it if you want to read it and here we go the fragrance there's the fragrance a little booklet where you could hold this and stand this up nicely the little stand right here and here we go and the bottle the little insignia Nisio right here right there as always that's the box and here we go now, today we are going to talk about, like I said, Inicio Atomic Rose. Now, let's get on to the notes. The notes are, the notes are Bergamon, Pink Pepper, Hedion. No. Turkish Rose, Bulgarian Rose, Jasmine, Egyptian Jasmine, Vanilla, and amber but this one is classified as an oriental floral i know i just told you the notes but you guys don't really care about the notes you care about the best the way i describe it and the way i'm going to describe it is the best way i could think of and what i get from this fragrance this nice creamy floral vanilla seductive fragrance that's what i get with this floral it's really really a nice fragrance if i could describe it in another way i would say you take the lena and you take instant cafe and you get this if they had a baby that is the mixture of those two but when i say the lena i don't mean it as a feminine way this was a more masculine take on the lena masculine take on the lena with some instant cafe now what i mean about instant cafe no it doesn't have that cafe note that coffee note that it has an instant cafe it has the vanilla that is so amped up this one is a vanilla fragrance for sure this is a vanilla on steroids if you're a fan of vanilla i guarantee you will love this with some florals i guarantee you will love this one and if you're a fan of delina as well an instant cafe just take that and boom that's what you get now i lost my train of thought now yeah this is what the fragrance you get it's not a bad fragrance at first i didn't really like it when i tried it out i got this at perfumology shout out to near for being so humble and welcome me home the reason i got it there was because i was there I was there, I went to a Nick Gallivan event, the Gallivan from the Creative Los Angeles, for those of you who don't know, is, is this fragrance right here. This one's Nick Gallivan, he signed it. He signed my thing over there. He signed it right here. He signed it. Thanks to Nick Gallivan for signing it, if you're watching it, but I know you're probably not. But anyway, let's get back to the juice. So yeah, at first when I was smelled it out, I went to go, that was the first fragrance that I went to in perfumology with Near Guy. I smelled it, I put it on my arm. I was like, well, I'm like, eh, I don't know. 
So as the night progressed, still smelled it. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I start talking to him. I don't know. What's your thoughts? Blah, blah, blah. And I was about to leave. And I was like, you know what, Nier? Just give it to me. I'll take the risk. If I like it, I like it. If not, oh, well. I could always resell it. So I wore it. The next day, it was a Thursday and I wore it the next day on a Friday. I wore it. I was like, all right, it's not that bad. The day got on, got on, got on. It started getting down to the dry down. And the vanilla kicked in and that's when I fell in love. I fell in love with the vanilla and the way it smelled like Delina and Instant Cafe, the best of both worlds. I don't have Delina and I don't have Instant Cafe. I love Delina. I wanted to get it, but this one just made me not want to get it. And Instant Cafe, that was going to be my next purchase, but this was. And the person that brought this to my attention was Stephen from Little Lessons because I was just having a conversation before I recorded this video. So we were just having a conversation and he told me what he thought about it. And I was like, damn, you're right. You're right. And as I smelled it when I got here before I was doing this video, I'm like, dang, he's right. This one does smell like that. It's kind of like a hybrid. But it's not, but it does have like its own sneaks, little similarities. Now, do I think you should try it? Yeah, I do think you should try it. Is it worth it? Well, you be the judge. I mean, this one does come out kind of pricey at $305. Um, I think you should test it out. And if you're in the New York area, you should go check out Oswald. Oswald. They're having the launch event on Thursday. On Thursday, what day is it? Hold on. On Thursday, the 21st. And you can check it out there and smell it for yourself. But if you can't go there, you can go to Perfumology. And if you're in the Philadelphia area and go check it out, in, he's in Old Town. Check that out. Hit up Joe at Dior Perfumes or hit up Crystal at Crystal Fragrances. And they will be the all three of those guys will be lucky enough to help you guys out. Or and also Oswald will be lucky enough to help you guys out and give you and work with you on how to get a decan, how to try this out, something just work out with them. But now back to the review. Longevity and projection on this are monstrous. Longevity, I got about a good eight hours plus. Projection. Man, it's like it never stops. Like, you wear it, you think it's gone away, but no. It gives you a nice little scent bubble throughout the day. I have no problems with it. Longevity's there. And it stays on your clothes for a long amount of time. I wore a shirt a couple of days ago, and it's still on. That's four days. Count them. Four days. That is crazy. This is a nice, seductive fragrance. I think this is perfect for the day scents. Or romantic settings. I think it might be a nice Valentine's Day scent too. But I will have to test it out. I did get the compliments. My friends normally don't compliment me. Because they know I'm kind of a dickhead when it comes to me. When they tell me you smell good. I'm like I know I smell good. You don't have to tell me. I know this. You don't have to tell me. I know this. And they'll be like oh my god. This is why we don't tell you anything. I'll be like I know. I'll be like I know. And they'll be like you cocky. I'm like, I'm cocky, but I know what it is. But yeah, so pretty much, yeah, this one. And you can't go wrong with this one. I mean, I mean, Inicio to, Inicio to me hasn't really been a bad fragrance. It hasn't let me down. To me, it's just like, hurrah, hurrah. My first one used to be Side Effect. I love Side Effect. But now it's like, eh. I'm like, eh, next to this one, the new king in town. It's 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 a toss-up between side effect. And like I said, side effect, this does belong in the Cardinal Blend collections, which is include side effect, the psychedelic love, divine attraction, and the new one on the town, the new kid on the block, Atomic Rose. So, like I said, it's not a bad fragrance, it's worth it. I mean, like I said, like I said before, I don't know if it's worth it. It's up to you. 
but I do fall in love with it. It gave me what I was looking for in a fragrance. Fragrance. It gave me what I was looking for in a fragrance. Compliments, longevity, projection. Three things. And I fell in love with it. And this is the new. Maybe it's the helium. Maybe it's the helium that I fell in love with. If you guys don't know what helium is, it is a chemical that was produced by scientists to make to send signals to the brain to make it to make you feel more attracted to the opposite sex or whatever you're into. I really don't care. Is your preference to the opposite sex and send just brains to the signal to make you feel more attractive. There was a study shown that people with Bohedion had, had more confidence and that, and they just felt, and the girls just attracted to you. It's like a pheromone, I guess you could say. It's like a pheromone and that's what it is. So with this fragrance overall, do I recommend it? Yeah, I recommend it. Do I recommend blind buying? No, I don't recommend blind buying because of the price. The price is 305 and I don't think anybody should buy that price except me except me for you guys <laughs> but to do that but you know each his own i mean you guys be the judge is it worth it is it not i think still think you should check it out and hit up near joe crystal and the people at oswald i will leave all of their four informations down there so you guys can check it out like I said, if you're in the area, go to the Oswald, go to the Oswald event where they will do the initial launch and I will be there. Steven will be there. Carlos will be there. A couple other fragrance reviewers will be there just to check it out, have a good time and see the launch of this event. And you could try it out for yourself and you be the judge for yourself. If you tried it, let me know what your thoughts are on this. I would love to read you in the comment. Please comment, like, subscribe. And as always, wear what you want, buy what you want. And I will definitely see you next time. And if I don't, it's because you're not subscribed. Remember, just because it's niche doesn't mean it's always good. And just because designer doesn't mean it's always bad. Peace. I'm out of here. You know who it is. They ain't the king of this game. Smooches.